Now, there are other things that we can do. As an example, if we define the annotation scale the way that we just did. To define whether it's scalable when it's placed, it has the ability to feel the influence of the annotation scale factor. Now, this can be done on a one-to-one -one thing relative to placing an element. So if you want to put a piece of text in your file that has the ability to feel the annotation scale influence, there is a simple toggle within the tool settings window. We'll take a look at some of the different tools that this has the ability to impact as we move forward here. So it may prompt you at this point to start thinking about what types of elements support the use of annotation scale in MicroStation. Well, folks, it has the ability to be applied to basically any type of text. That means basic text, text fields, text notes, notes, etc. Cells can be annotatable where it makes sense to do so. Dimensions support the use of annotation scale, although you have to be careful with dimensions because Depending on how you use them, where you place them, what model, etc., and how your models work relative to each other, it can be interesting sometimes. So you have to know the ins and outs of that. Tables present a great way to display data in a tabular format, either from the properties of graphical data or from non-graphical data in MicroStation. You can even display data from a spreadsheet application, such as Excel, for example. So absolutely, tables are annotatable. Another one of the things that has the ability to work with annotation scale is your patterning. So hatching and cross-hatching can be automatically scaled based on the annotation scale of the design. The scale of custom line styles can be annotative if you wish to, but it doesn't have to be. This is controlled by a model property, and it should be either on or off. But if it is, it's globally done. That means all custom line styles are scalable if that's the case. If you work with terrain model elements in MicroStation, importing a terrain model into the active MicroStation model has the ability to come in and display things like terrain contour labels and spot elevations and so forth. These have the ability to feel the current annotation scale value as well. It works with detailing symbols such as section markers, detail callouts, etc. For a sheet model, the actual boundary extents of the sheet itself has the ability to be annotatable. Drawing boundaries allow you to predefine an area on a sheet model that will host a named boundary. These two honor annotation scale. And last but not least, annotatable elements that are part of a reference can be influenced by the annotation scale through a toggle setting. We'll talk about that in a moment. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.